Dearest Peggy, this foul concoction of a serum feels more like a curse than a gift. Were I to attempt to describe the visions and feats that I'm suddenly capable of, you'd think me mad. One day I hope we can both soar unrestricted to the heavens and leave the stench and deception of General Crystal Dynamics behind. I long for your bosom, Peggy. For some reason, I think of a motorboat. Poggers. Captain America. <laughs> Hello, beta testers. Marvel's Avengers. It hopes to resurrect its player base with Black Panther, but tricking players into buying their game, then buying their overpriced $14 skins, then buying a battle pass specific to Black Panther? I don't know, man. It may be an impossible task given how buggy their game still is. Maybe you've seen one of my countless videos compiling the community's bugs that are still an issue today. Bugs that developers ignore when players make them known. Bugs including but not limited to players spawning completely outside of the map or mission area being knocked out of the map or mission area by enemies, even in the training room, my god this must be hard for y'all, enemies spawning outside of the map or mission area, very popular, almost infamous at this point, and that's again if the enemies are spawning at all. Enemies aposing or just freezing so often that you'll wonder if your console is next, maybe your whole last screen will go black and you'll struggle to fucking see. Look at the screen, look at this mess, 10 months after release and think about every donkey cum guzzling defender promoting this broken experience to people to pad out their wallet since the clickbait ain't enough. It doesn't affect them, it's only affecting a small amount of people, fucking scumbags. The amount of people deliberately deceiving, acting blind and ignorant in the face of people struggling just to play, but they don't see that, they ain't gonna report that, it's only when it's they fran that they care, I digress. Maybe assets and textures won't load, or better yet, maybe they will load, but in weird places that clutter the terrain in astonishing ways. I used to ask people, hey, you should pause the game, show people your marketplace, let them know that this is a current build because all the cocksucking defenders will be like, meh, that's an old build of the game. But I'm pretty sure at this point, you know you're not fooling anybody, boy. Crystal Dynamics recently recycled their Red Room content back into the game. They refer to this as an event, when in reality it's just five training rooms. This recycled content is just as buggy as it was the last time it was farted out and the skeleton crew of a development team can't even prevent random assets from popping up in the middle of this tiny room. If it seems pathetic, imagine 10 months of that. If that seems sad, imagine the delusion of believing that this no endgame having turd will suddenly turn gold. So, after banning people too critical and hiding comments asking about accessibility for colorblind people the last time you rolled out this content, they've recycled it back into the game with a giant middle finger to anybody that might have wanted that colorblind mode because take it or leave it. Suck our balls. That's the Crystal Dynamics fucking motto, boy. Loot is too difficult for this looter. The Omega level threats promised over half a year ago still aren't in the game. Broken systems, frequent nerfs, and the developers jump on stream weekly to dodge questions and laugh at their own failures in their ongoing disgrace of the Marvel property. Ho 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 ho! Type leet in the chat! Remember that? I have a problem with the term FEMALE! Crystal recently dropped a patch declaring Captain America's shield on their $14 MCU skin fixed. So now, the orientation of the shield would reflect the star pointing up? Or so they said in the patch notes. So of course, Crystal Dynamics as it pertains to 10 month old failure and lie, you are the father. You would think these content recycling copy and pasters would find slightly rotating a shield a manageable task. In fact, you might call some of them figurative task masters, but nope. That was too difficult to task for Crystal Dynamics. Forget the MCU skin that was staying bugged for like a fucking month. Spinning a shield's too hard. Are things starting to fall into perspective? Not leaking IP addresses was too difficult for Crystal Dynamics. Testing their fucking product is too difficult for Crystal Dynamics. Beta testers, I'm not telling you lies when I'm saying that I'm hyped. Because I can't wait to see Defender suck and slurp it up, slurp it down, swish that coom all around. Did you know they suck mad balls? That clown makeup don't come off. Honk honk. These weirdos dancing, 
chanting around that dumpster fire. Soon guys, no satire, looking for a penis pacifier. But defenders, I personally thank you for filling my comment section with the kind of drivel I previously considered strictly reserved for insane asylums. No kink shaming if their need to be punished is insatiable, they've been very naughty boys, and their punishment is the removal of their balls and the extraction of their brain cells. Just kidding, they're gone, they've been gone for a while. For the record, I don't blame Crystal Dynamics at this point. I believe and know in my heart that the handful of people still employed there are working hard on more nerfs to make their shitty looter even less appealing. All I can think about is how everything they release is broken, but how bad must OLTs be that even these developers think, no, 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 this isn't releasable. Jesus, that's not releasable? But enemies still not spawning or spawning below the map, players falling through or getting knocked out of the map, all 10 month old launch problems still here, that's Marvel's Avengers. Bad loot in your looter, exotics not even having a chance to drop everywhere, no modding, no recalibration, nothing. That's Marvel's Avengers. $14 recolor skins, up to $10 emotes but you can only use one at a time because there's no emote wheel, $12 takedowns that often barely connect properly with the enemy that you didn't even think forward enough to allow more than five of to be equipped. That's Marvel's Avengers. Crystal Dynamics, you break rewards. You remove features. In, in service of changes that have yet to be implemented. Just like Loot 2.0 is ongoing, I'm sure Cosmetic Rework doesn't have a definitive date either. It'll just be ongoing changes, right? That's number wang. No amount of shilling will change the trash state of this afterthought of a game. When every update you release, you nerf or remove, or you're trying to smear your already non-existent content over a bigger piece of bread, but instead of butter, your content is actually poop. And instead of bread, it's it's your mother's ass. I'm, I'm sorry if the analogy got away from me. Crystal, you wake up every day and you choose deception of average, oblivious consumers uh, with this disgrace of a Marvel abortion that you're still daring to charge for, that they are still allowing you to keep... I don't get it. You would think y'all work for the government. Y'all just untouchable like this? This pattern of lies, incompetence, poor decisions, failure to communicate, blatant and deliberate choices to downplay situations until you absolutely cannot do it anymore. It's plain for everybody to see. You're a joke, Crystal Dynamics. The kind that everyone stopped laughing at because it's just sad. Future Evolution makes me so happy and it's because it's real Marvel, which I appreciate as a Marvel fan. This isn't one annoying nobody's story, not just two villains, there's social gameplay, it functions, it's complete, and it hasn't even properly launched. This Marvel's Avengers game isn't real Marvel, it's bargain brand incomplete, it's an imitation, propped up by competent combat design that is unfortunately crippled by everything else. Get this video to 1k likes and I'll jump back into Marvel's Avengers and we can play together, but I'm thinking a hazmat suit isn't even enough to deal with this game right now. Love you to death, beta testers. Let's play together and other things. The beta testers alliance in Future Evolution is almost level 3, so we should be making some space for everybody who wants to jump in. And uh, otherwise, I'll be here. Leave a comment and I'll respond to every one of them. Let's see what it's all about. You're about to die. Do you think that you will survive? I don't think you will. I don't think you will. Put the, put the gun up their butt. Put the gun up their butt. Let them know. Let them know what time it is. Put the gun in their butt. Yes. Now try to pull the trigger when they die so that it looks like they die at the same time. I'm going to say three, two, one. Blow, 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 blow their butt out of their head. Blow their butt. Oh my God!